yeah welcome to lab 6 cloud computing let's begin at task 1 in and task 1 is work queues here what happens is like a producer produces a message and one of the consumer receives the message so let me scroll down yeah i have provided the modified code code for this lab in the description below download this from there and yeah as the first task uh, as a screenshot demands work queues as the image name so I have renamed the folder name as work queues for task 1 and as the next screenshot demands lab 6 part 1 as the name I have named it as lab 6 part 1 although it's lab 6 part 2 actually okay let's just follow the screenshots so first thing is like I need this screenshot 1a.png and for this yeah but mm. and before starting install docker on ubuntu as we did in the previous labs but this time on your system and not on aws and also install docker compose on your system it's same as we did in the last lab just go to the previous video and follow it if you don't get it now open a terminal and get into the directory of work queues now start up the command docker compose up and yeah so we have to scale consumer container by 4 so minus minus scale consumer equal to 4 Okay, but before running this make sure that you go into work queues send and source.py here make sure you change your srn first yeah modify your srn here and also go to lab 6 part 1 folder and send folder and go into source.py and even change your srn here also and that's the only thing you need to modify don't change the code which i have given and just run this command now wait for 20 seconds for the command to get executed after 15 seconds you will see that the consumers co consumer containers have been spawned up and after 5 seconds yeah you get the producer so this is the screenshot which we need and we got it so take a screenshot and name it as 1a.png Okay, here we can see that means a producer produces a message and that message is consumed by only one consumer. Now don't close that, open a new terminal and type docker ps minus c. Yeah, so this is the next screenshot which we needed. Take a screenshot and name it 1b.png. And the next screenshot we need is docker compose.yml file. Just go into lab 6 work queues and open the docker compose.yml in one of your ID and take a screenshot of this. Don't change anything here, it's 1c.png. Okay, so three screenshots are done. now you can close the terminal you can press ctrl c to stop the execution yeah so after you have stopped the working process run the command docker ps minus and you can see that we have the container still there and we need to remove them now so just copy the container id and paste it in front of docker rm and the container id this will remove the container now do the same process for all the containers there Okay, so now you can see we have no contents left and this is what you need to proceed for task 2. 
now okay clear the terminal and go back to your root main directory lab6 and then go to lab6 part 1 folder yeah this is the folder which you have and make sure you change your srn inside the send source.py file now we need 2ea.png and 2b.png let me get in the document now yeah so this is publish or subscribe publish subscribe queue and what happens here is like a publish producer sends a message and that message is delivered to all of the consumers who are waiting for it so in this task we need to scale consumer service to 5 and producer service will be just one and even the message published will be just one so all five consumers need to receive the same message go to your terminal make sure you are in the lab 6 part 1 directory and it's the same command again docker compose up scale consumer equal to 5 yeah run the command and again wait for 15 seconds for the con uh, consumers to start up and then 5 seconds more for the producer to start Okay, so this is the screenshot we need. We can see here there is a single producer who produced a message and that was received by all five consumers who are listening for it. This is nothing but the publish subscribe queue. Yeah, this is the screenshot. Just don't worry about the extra blank lines there. Even the screenshot will depict the same thing. Yeah, so take a screenshot and name, name it 2a.png and before closing it open another terminal and as before docker ps-a yeah we need a screenshot here and this is nothing but 2b.png it's the exact thing take a screenshot yeah and that's it <laughs> these are the five screenshots which we need for lab 6 and just to clean up the process which i have just created right now remove all the containers which we have spawned okay but before that you need to stop the execution in the previous terminal Okay, after the processes have stopped, go back to your terminal and st start removing the containers. This is just to clean up your environment. Yeah, and run docker ps-a to confirm there are no containers present. Okay, yeah, and lab 6 is done. Thank you.